Thursday. Um, I'm just uh, running some errands this afternoon and uh, wanted to send out a video to recap Tuesday's uh, video and sermon review. Um, I laid out three points or three things to think about on Tuesday and uh, it can easily be remembered as fight, laugh, feast. Okay, And I want to walk through those again uh, so that we understand what I'm talking about. This idea of, of fighting is, is in the season of life we're in with this corona deal, um, we need to fight for our minds. Uh, and the best way we do that is through the power of the Spirit, being in the Word, uh, continually, uh, daily surrendering our life to Christ. I mean, that's really what this is. And uh, oftentimes when we're facing challenges, we feel like we're up against the ropes. And uh, I don't want to be a Christian that just puts the gloves up and takes the punches all the time. Uh, I want to be on the offensive. I want to be accurate in fighting back. And uh, Christ gave us a great example of that in, in his desert wandering for 40 days as the devil um, really wanted to, to make him worship him, essentially. Uh, and deceive him and trick him. And Jesus fought back, swinging hard, being intentional, uh, and using the Word of God as the tool to do so. So in order for us to do that, we need to know the Word. We need to be in the Word, and that's very, very important. Um, secondly, uh, laugh. Um, it is hard to think about laughing at a time like this. Um, but uh, in my case, um, we're trying to pack up a house. We've got three kids at home doing school. Uh, I'm trying to sell a minivan. And life is crazy. It's chaotic. Uh, but at the end of the day, I can laugh. I can laugh about the little things. I can laugh about the stress that I have, knowing that God is sovereign. I can laugh as I watch the evening news and people claiming that they are in control of their worlds. God is sovereign and God is in control and he will not be mocked. And so as Christians, we can be confident and I, I think um, have a smile on our face knowing that God at the end of all of this, uh, all the pain, all the suffering, um, all the, the depravity that we see around us, he will make it all new. He will restore it and there will be a new heaven and a new earth. And that is a fabulous thing. And then lastly, feast. Um, you know, when you think about feasting, when you think about gathering around a table with, with friends and family and eating, um, obviously it, it has become more rhythmic now. Uh, we're sharing more meals with our families than we ever have before. And what a great opportunity to go around the table and raise your glasses and thank God for what he has provided and continues to provide. And so um, fight, laugh, feast this week. Enjoy that. And we'll see you on Tuesday uh, next week. God bless. Bye-bye.